me all of that. Today I'm going to show you some brilliant food. How to make an English breakfast. You need some sausages, some bacon, some eggs, some mashed browns, some mushrooms, a frying pan, and a little bit of cooking oil, a little bit of butter. So, you take the sausages and chop them up like that, and you throw them in the frying pan. Then, you take some eggs, you break your eggs, you mix your eggs, you put them in the frying pan. All right? Then you get some hash browns, you put them in the frying pan. Then you get some mushrooms. Do you know what you do the mushrooms? No. You chop the mushrooms up, you put them in the frying pan. Then you get the frying pan like that. Like that. Go on. And you cook everything. Put it on a plate. Pack up. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I can't order it here. Yes, I'm better everything. Hello. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. I'm going to introduce you a Portuguese man. We call it jardinera. Jardinera, we need ingredients, all those ingredients in here that you have to put in jardinera. Jardinera is a menu. It's prepared with meat, uh, oil, uh, meat, uh, olive oil, green beans, carol, tomato, uh, uh, ga uh, garlic, uh, potatoes, uh, onions, etc. So, what we do, we, do, we, we, we buy meat and season meat, a uh, couple of put meat, uh, ingredients in the meat like uh, uh, salt, oil, and uh, oil and uh, uh, jimbu, uh, vinegar, and put in pot, leave it a couple of two or three hours, and after getting ready, as the meat is getting ready in the ingredient, you can prepare everything here. Take the olive oil and put in the cooking pot, and after that, you chop it. Onion and take it, put in <laughs> let it to boil, and after that, you take it, uh, tomato. <laughs> And put in a cooking pot, let it to boil with the oil, everything together. And after that, take a little bit, a little, a little bit, salt, put in the <laughs> Salt, everything is cooking, there is boiling. And after a couple of minutes, take it that meat, you see, let's put in another cooking pot, let it to boil. And as you do that, you, everything is boiling, and you can uh, peel it. Potatoes, peel, 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 potatoes, cut a piece, there are five pieces, cut, 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 <laughs> and then put there. After that, when meat, when meat is ready to, to, to be cooked, and take a potato, put in that pot, you, 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 you put all ingredients, the oil, and the tomato, everything, then put the potato, let the potato to boil, and after that, take that meat, you cook it, or you boil it in another pot, and drop in that pot you prepare the oil and after that take a, you can put red pepper in put the jingo and cover put a little bit a little bit of oil again then let's cover it to 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 until when it's cooked also you can prepare rice pot of rice because you can eat it with your rice you can eat it with the bread you can eat it whatever you want to uh, cassava, anything, you can eat with it. So this is a very simple uh, lamb kebab. It is very simple, it's not complicated. After this presentation, anyone can do this uh, meal. <laughs> Our ingredients is um, lamb uh, leg, tomato, onion, oil, garlic, color, and use, uh, sometimes we use uh, some spice. Uh, the instrument we use normally knife, uh, cooking bowl, uh, tablespoon, pot, cooker, and uh, uh, box of uh, salt. Uh, normally, we cut, cut the meat in small uh, pieces. This all to be done together. Uh, normally we cut uh, the lamb in small uh, pieces and we add uh, chopped uh, uh, onion uh, with a little bit of uh, oil and a little bit of uh, some uh, carrot and uh, garlic uh, to put all this uh, to add uh, salt to put all this together in a pot in very low degree of uh, cooker uh, and cover the pot. After uh, each uh, 10 minutes to 15 minutes, uh, we steam the mix and recover the pot.
another uh, 15 or uh, 20 minutes, we move, remove the cover and uh, steam the mix. After uh, six to five uh, uh, steam, we add uh, finally some uh, garlic and spicy and we cover also uh, the spot. After 10 minutes, the process is uh, finished and our meat is very delicious. Lovely. <laughs> Today I'm going to make chicken biryani. Yeah. Now I'm going to tell you how to make chicken biryani. I need all of the ingredients like salt, chicken, and oil, tomatoes, onion, rice, garlic, and chili powder. Garlic and chili powder. First of all, what, what I need to do, uh, first of all, I will take one farm, then I will put a little bit of oil, then then I will put, uh, then I will, I'm gonna put um, chopped onion and chopped tomatoes. Then I will, uh, then I, I'm gonna put garlic. Then I have to fry it about five or six minutes. Then after that, I, I'm gonna put uh, some spicy like um, chili powder or uh, what you like, or you like, you like chili powder. Then uh, you can put as well green chili as well. Then I have to, then I have to fry it about another two or three minutes. Then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna put uh, rice. Uh, I have to put rice. Um, I have to put rice. Uh, it, 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 that rice depends on chicken. How much chicken uh, do you want to cook? Then I'm gonna put rice. Then I have to uh, fry it about ten or fifteen minutes. Then uh, that's finished. Okay. okay. Thank you. So the ingredients are ginger, garlic, potato, coriander, seasoned seeds, sea salt, tomato, and turmeric powder. That's it. <laughs> Firstly, you have to boil the potato and cut it into small pieces. Then you put oil in a pan. Then you have to put uh, onion, tomatoes, garlic and ginger paste, um, seasoned seed paste, and that's it. and sea salt. <laughs> and you can put. <laughs> salt and you have to just mix it and let it be like until it turns gravy and after that you can put tomato and eh, no, sorry potatoes and you just have to mix it and it will be ready to be served that's it easy okay, easy thank you very much